prejudice. Any unfavorable opinion that is formed without knowing the actual facts is called a prejudice. Prejudice affects our behavior towards a person. Based on a prejudice, we may become unnecessarily unfair and rude to somebody. This unfair treatment of people on the basis of prejudice is called discrimination. Look at the following statements. People in the cities lead a very comfortable life. They are lazy and do not want to work hard. People in the villages are superstitious and backward. They are against any kind of development. All uneducated people are rude. We should not mix with people who are very different from us. The above statements are examples of prejudice. Sometimes our prejudices stem from one particular incident or person and we develop unfounded negative views about people. Prejudice is a very unhealthy attitude. We should get rid of all kinds of prejudices and try to judge people only after interacting with them personally and positively. Kinds of Prejudice Gender Women face a lot of prejudice at home and sometimes even at the workplace. On the basis of such prejudice, they are subjected to discrimination. Even today, in many parts of the world, Women are not treated at par with men. In many places, they are still considered solely as homemakers and are denied right to education. In some places, there are rigid rules on what women can or cannot do. Severe restrictions on the activities that women can do even today. They are not allowed to go out of the house or mix with people freely. Very often employed women get paid much less than their male counterparts for the same amount of work done. Religious Sometimes people belonging to a particular religion consider others to be inferior. They try to impose their thoughts and views on them. This is called religious prejudice. This often leads to violence and extreme hatred. Race or region or caste. Prejudices based on region, race and caste, etc. are deep-rooted. People of the so-called superior castes consider people belonging to the other classes inferior to them. Such an attitude leads to a lot of discrimination. The unprivileged class is not allowed to mix up with the so-called superior class. An extreme form of discrimination is untouchability. Similarly, some people consider their own region superior to the rest of the country. There are still others who think that they are racially superior than the rest of the population and try to dominate others. All such notions often lead to violent conflict and acrimony among people belonging to different communities. Stereotypes Sometimes we assign some qualities to a group of people, thereby forming a particular image of them. This image or belief about a person or a group of people based on the idea that everyone in that particular group will look or act in the same way is called stereotype. Let us look at some examples of stereotyping. Little Rohan fell down and started crying. His mother picked him up and consoled him by saying that boys don't cry. No, beta, don't cry. Are you a girl? Boys do not cry. Rishi wants to learn Bharatnatyam along with his sister. But his father disagrees. Children who are special. Some children are special because they are differently abled. They might move around in a wheelchair or with the help of crutches or they might need hearing aid to hear properly. Some children are not able to see while some others cannot read or write fluently like their friends. Special children need our special care and attention. They need love, respect and acceptance by others. We should neither take pity on them, not make fun of them. It is important that differently able children do not face discrimination. Till recently, regular schools did not admit children with special needs. 
so they have to attend special schools meant for them but now there are many inclusive schools where children with special needs get the opportunity to study together with other children so that they may not feel that they belong to any separate category study that discrimination and prejudice often lead to different kinds of inequality in the society one of the most prominent examples of inequality is the caste system in which people from the so called upper classes consider everyone else in the society inferior and deny them most of their rights traditionally indian society has been divided into different castes on the basis of occupation brahmins priests kshatriyas rulers and warriors and vaishyas traders were considered to be superior castes and therefore respectable while shudras of the lower caste were oppressed and discriminated against an extreme form of discrimination was untouchability according to this practice we assumed lower caste people were considered impure and untouchable and were forced to live outside the boundaries of the society they were not allowed to interact with people belonging to the higher castes and were denied opportunities of education and even religious worship due to the efforts of social reformers such as ishwar chandra vidya sagar shri narayana guru mahatma gandhi and dr b r ambedkar the caste system as well as the practice of untouchability have been almost eradicated from the society today all men and women are treated as equals and the practice of untouchability has been banned by the indian equality in the constitution the framers of the indian constitution led by the chairman of the drafting committee dr b r ambedkar envisioned that all indians should get equal rights and opportunities and be considered equal the constitution gives equal rights to men and women and does not allow any discrimination on the basis of religion race caste sex or place of birth only for some sections of the society which have been traditionally denied rights to education the constitution has made some special provisions called reservation so that they can work at par with the rest of the people in the society women and people belonging to the so called lower classes have certain number of seats reserved for them in government educational institutions and offices moreover to ensure equality and justice the constitution has granted every citizen of india certain basic rights irrespective of their differences in terms of caste creed sex race and religion these are called the fundamental rights the preamble to the constitution of india truly reflects dr b r ambedkar's vision of a secular india free from caste and communal